Not necessarily in a junk drawer, um, but I think it, it could be a junk drawer like if you're a lady and you have like those little small makeup mirrors. Sometimes the old ones that fall off the case, you might just throw in the junk drawer. We need a mirror. We need a mirror. When I read Psalms, well, Psalms, 1 Corinthians 13, and I'm like, love is patient, love is kind, love does not give up. And I'm like, oh my God, I will never be doing that. I, I, I must not love. You know what I'm saying? I don't have it in me to do all of that. I remember I used to read that scripture, I'm like, who loves like this? So let me read it again because it's just, it's so beyond me. And I'm like, but see, this is what God calls us to. And, I, and I, then it was something as I read it and I was meditating on it as we were driving out from Maryland today that it hit me. And I'm like, it's the mirror. That's why. It's the mirror. Let me explain that. It says love never gives up. Love cares more for others than for self. Love doesn't want what it wants to have or doesn't have. It doesn't strut. It's not swelled head. It forces itself on others. It doesn't do that. It doesn't say me first. It doesn't fly off the handle. It has this anger under control. It has some patience. It says long suffering in another translation. It doesn't keep score of the sins of others. You know why love can really do that? You know how to really get to that? It's because you have a spiritual mirror. Which looks at, I got no right in looking bad at them because I got more dirt here. Mm -hmm. See, a real relationship is like, no, it's not me how I feel. It's like, no, how can I help them? And I'm going to tell you, some of y'all say, oh, I want to get married. I want this and the other. But you can't get off of your selfish view. You're the one keeping yourself from the destiny that God has with you and someone else. Because there's no way my marriage will work if I'm always looking at me, me, me. I gotta look at the mirror and say, what do I need to change? And what do I need to give to the other person? See, it's like I'm looking in the mirror at myself and say, what am I doing? Am I loving or am I looking to get love? Am I serving or looking to get served? Am I looking to take or am I looking to give? Am I looking to, you know, rub their nose in it when they messed up? Ha! I've been waiting three years to remind you. <laughs> it's like, look in the mirror. Is that what you want to project? Is that what you want to give? Or Because if that's what you're giving, know that you're about to get that right back. Mm -hmm. And is that the type of relationship that's healthy in anyone's book? It's love is patient. Ooh. It's like, OK, um, I'm, they need to be more patient with me. Look in the mirror. <coughs> Are you being patient? It's like, oh man, I'm not being talked to like I'm supposed to or I want to. And look in the mirror. How are you talking? It's like, I, I'm learning this every single day. I had a pastor a long time ago tell me, your wife is your garden. You plant seeds in her. And what you plant in her, she multiplies and gives back. So if you don't like the way she's talking to you, check the seeds you planted. And I was like, come on, pastor, talk to the women. You, you know, you're beating us up a little too much. But you know, as a man, I got to eat that. I gotta receive that. Like, you know what? I am the gardener and I am supposed to plant the right things. And if there's things coming out, I need to look in the mirror and say, did I plant them first? This is the same thing. You want your man to respect you and honor you? Check, how are you talking to him? Are you always whipping him a new one just because he didn't say the right thing about your hair? <laughs> it's like, oh, you didn't see my hair, but five other guys talked about my hair, so maybe I just need it. It's like, <laughs> are you building him up? You know what? I just love the way you, you study. <laughs> I, I can't go too deep because you're on college. I mean, I, I was married, we can say some other things, but it's like, I just love the way you study. You know, you're, 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 so, you're so faithful in coming to Bible study. I just, I just love it. Or you know what? I love how you go to the gym. You're so diligent. You know, you get you work and getting so strong for the summertime. And, and it's just like, it's, it's, you know, it's like, you give compliments. Or are you always like, you don't ever compliment me. Do you compliment him? Something to think about. And I ain't saying, boy, I liked your shirtless pic on Instagram last night. No, not, not them type of compliments. Tisha, uh, nothing. <laughs> you were looking too close at me. I'm like, you, it might be hitting home with you. But it's like, honestly, give confidence. Like, you know what? You know, you, I see you, you, your prayer life has is, is been real consistent. I'm inspired by that. You know, we can give godly compliments without getting all secular and, you know, sec you, blah, blah, blah. 
sexual and secular. We can give good compliments. But see, if we don't practice it, if we're not doing it, how do you expect to get it back? The Bible says, give unto others as you would have them give unto you. you know, treat them the way you want to be treated. And it's like, that's the mirror effect. It's like, instead of always looking out, first look in. We work on God's battery. We need God's glue. We need God's mirror. If you don't know how to look at yourself, then here's the mirror that you need to start looking at. Because herein lies the description on what you should be doing, how you should be acting, how you should be thinking, how you should be functioning. People don't like this. I won't read that book. It's boring. I mean, I, I argue that it's not boring, but you know, people. But this is how you want to see who you're supposed to be, what you're supposed to be doing, how you're supposed to get it. Look in the mirror, God's word. Because he said, I made you in my image and in my likeness, which means we should look, act, think like God. And that's even in relationships. Shouldn't be no creeping around saying, oh, well, I'm a Christian, but I'm a date like this. No, 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 no. It should be a reflection. You're, you're the world should be able to look at your relationship and say, goals. Uh -huh. You know, God's goals, right there. I see a picture of what he said it was supposed to be. And then for me, that's my desire. I don't say we're the perfect couple, but I want people to look at us and say, I see God in their marriage. I see God in their relationship. I see the fruits of love. I see the fruits of joy. I see the fruits of peace because God's in the middle. See, the thing about that junk drawer, we, got, we put all types of stuff in, but the spiritual relationship junk drawer, I'm talking about you need God's things in it to pull out. And everything in it is worthwhile to you and your relationship and getting, growing to be with God wants it. 